<laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. What's up, everyone? As you can see from the title of the video, there are a few concerns I have with Tower Raid, and today we're gonna get deep. Before we get into the goods, I want to express my thanks to everyone that has subscribed so far and hitting our goal of 69 subscribers. Very nice, guys. Anyways, on to the video. With Tower Raid getting close to beta soon, I wanted to go over some thoughts and voice some of my concerns about the new update based off of details that were discussed in recent interviews with the developers. Number one being predictability. Predictability can be one of the biggest killers for replayability in most cases. For example, like let's say if you play Battle Royale games, Games like Apex, Warzone, and dare I say it, Fortnite. People replay these games constantly due to the match being different every time, you know, making each match unpredictable. My concerns are that Tower Raid will be too linear and that will be very similar to Survivor missions to the point where content won't be replayable as much as we originally thought it might be. Especially if the floors become repetitive with the same mechanics every time. You know, one way I think that Techland can combat this is by shuffling around the floors on a weekly basis so no floor is the same every single week, right? So let's say, for example, if Floor 5 had a boss fight with an electric demolisher last week, but this week on Floor 5, we get to face off against a pack of Tyrant Volatiles from Floor 10 from the previous week. That would be a good way to mix things up a little bit so we're not doing the same thing over and over again. Regardless of what features might come, they need to give us some variety instead of solely relying on linear progression throughout the tower raid, which in turn should make this content less predictable. My fears mainly stem from past interviews where devs state this will take on similar roguelike game elements. For all my casual boys that like to touch grass and don't know what a roguelike game is, don't worry, I got you. Roguelike games, they're basically a RPG genre, but it's characterized by like permadeath features, turn-based gameplay, and then just procedurally generated levels. In this case, it would be the tower raid floors that were progressively going up and trying to reach the top. I do realize it's impossible to have a tower raid without progressing up the tower, so you'd need levels, but I think Techland is going to have to make some gameplay less predictable in order to achieve the goal of replayability for this new content. I know I should have more faith that the devs can achieve this. However, I have a feeling that they will copy and paste survivor missions into tower raid. And if that's the case, that would be really lame. That brings me to my next concern, which is incentives. What are the incentives to playing tower raid compared to farming GRE anomalies or farming dark zone nest? You know, a lot of players for the most part just want to progress as quickly as possible. And then others just want to enjoy the game for what it is and take their time. You know, I really think this is an opportunity to bring the game mode that satisfies both player bases. I do know this is far-fetched, but I think it's worth a try at the same time. Tower Raid should be giving players a reason to choose it over all the other content in the game for progression at this point. One way I think Techland can really do that is by making sure we get good, consistent rewards quickly with our progression in Tower Raids. Like on harder difficulties, how quickly you complete a floor will factor in your XP gains and loot rewards. Another incentive other than rewards should be quality gameplay features and modes within Tower Raid. It feels wrong at this point not to say something controversial. So here we go. I think on Nightmare Mode only, we should not be able to use our outside weapons in the Tower Raid. I know, I know, I know. Boo, horrible idea. Well, shut it and hear me out and think about it. The challenge of utilizing the environment around you instead of being overpowered as soon as you walk in would make things interesting and 
scary at the same time. Think about Call of Duty Zombies, for example. You didn't start out with the ray gun right away at level one. I know you get a chance early on, but still the concept is, is that you build up your weapons to be more powerful as you progress up each floor. Now picture it, you get off the elevator and you see a night runner that didn't make it and they drop some useful gear and you upgrade those new items, those new tools that you find along the way to become more powerful as you progress through the floors of the VNC tower. This feature could change the way we play the game entirely in this new mode. The last concern I want to mention is the lack of a lobby system. We need an improved lobby system that will allow players to join co-op games for tower raids and survivor missions easily without forcing them to randomly join another player's match or find a group via Discord. I think this is a crucial feature that needs to be improved and will help ensure the success of tower raid itself. Also, time is crucial for a lot of people and giving that time back so they can actually play the game will help ensure the success of tower raid. With with that said, let me know your thoughts on Tower Raid. Do you think Techland will address these concerns? Also, what features do you want to see in this update? That's going to do it for me, guys. I look forward to catching you on the next one.